Sam and Dave are the sort of young men who will see someone in need and demand of me, Dad, you're the city attorney. Can't you do something to help? Their idealism, untempered by the cynicism of the adult world, is a constant and welcome spur to me. Not a week goes by that they do not remind me in some way of why I have chosen a career in public service, and not a day goes by that they fail to refresh my spirit for life. Finally, I want to especially thank the staff of the city attorney's office, the attorneys, paralegals, and secretaries who keep the city's judicial branch running. I am so lucky to have such a talented and dedicated staff, and so is this city. Today, six of us at the city level took an oath of office. This is the same solemn oath that Mayor Dellums, Auditor Ruby, and Council Members Kernighan, Kwan, and Brooks swore two years ago. And so on this day, especially on this day, we owe the people of Oakland a frank assessment of our city's circumstances. And people of Oakland, our government is in trouble. Not in any legal sense. But by any common sense standard, this city government is broke. Finger pointing is useless, and I will not presume to assign blame, but we must first bluntly acknowledge the gravity of our situation if we are to pull back from the financial precipice upon which this organization is poised. I do not envy the mayor or the council the terrible and difficult policy choices they will be required to make in the next six months. The correct policy choices the ones that will set this city back on the right course will be so hard precisely because they will be popular with hardly anyone. They will not be popular with the media, and they will not be popular with the majority of the people of Oakland. But here is the truth. A year from now, the city of Oakland will have to be a significantly smaller organization than it is today, and the awful challenge for the council and the mayor will not be to decide between the services we want and the services we need. No, that wouldn't be hard enough. Rather, our elected policymakers are going to be forced to decide between what we need and what is essential for the city to survive intact. We will have to decide what matters most for the city's future. And it is my firm belief that from where we stand today, the reestablishment of public safety must be our primary focus. Our community standard has to be, if you commit an act of violence on Oakland streets, you will be caught and you will be brought to justice. Until we can enforce that simple, civilized standard, we will continue to lag behind the rest of Northern California in the vibrancy of our economy, in the effectiveness of our public schools, and in the quality of our lives. But I'm hopeful for Oakland's future. I'm hopeful from what I've heard today here from the council. Every great opportunity presents itself in a cloak of crisis, and we are not alone at this crossroads. For far too long, government hasn't worked very well in Sacramento or Washington either. Without civility and empathy, our leaders of every level of government have failed to solve our people's problems. Two months ago, President-elect Obama won an overwhelming victory at the polls. More than anything else, his triumph represents a yearning among our people for unity, for reconciliation, a desire for an honest debate for ideas in a democracy animated by a spirit of civility. A civility which we cannot achieve when we attack the motives and defame the character of the people with whom we disagree. Oakland, Oakland deserves the kind of civil, competent, and effective government that President Obama promises to bring to America. And in this time of crisis, it's on us to live up to that example and bring that change to our city. We can do better. We must do better. We are here today, each one of us, because we believe in our city's future. And no matter that some of us wear the masks of cynicism, we all believe in Oakland. And if our thoughts are clear and our hearts kind, we can create the Oakland that Oakland should be. Thank you for the opportunity to serve.